first moved here thinking how gay it was. Sometimes I think Washington's more gay than, than San Francisco is. Capitol Hill is packed with gay staffers. There are so many of them. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting a gay staffer. There's a running joke that actually the like, gay men make Capitol Hill run on time. They don't have like a wife or children to go home to so they can work really long hours. To this day, I have not seen any place like it. So it is probably like the most gay place. Unfortunately, it's probably still the most closeted place. Okay, the makers of the controversial new film, a documentary, Outrage, they say that their goal is to yank secretly gay politicians who campaign against gay rights out of the closet and expose them as the hypocrites that they are. Please welcome the director of Outrage, Kirby Dick, and activist for gay rights, Michael Rogers. Welcome, guys. Okay, let's start with Kirby. Tell us, tell us what you were trying to accomplish with this film. What's your goal? Well, the film is about hypocrisy. Yeah. It's about the hypocrisy of closeted politicians who vote anti-gay and in the process harm the lives of millions of American gay and lesbian citizens. And this is a story that hasn't been told. The mainstream media hasn't covered it. So the first thing I wanted to do is get this story told. Okay, and you picked Michael as your central catalyst. Exactly. Why him? Well, Mike Rogers is the most important reporter on this issue mm -hmm. in this decade. He's been covering this for a long time, and he, in fact, he was the person who outed Larry Craig nine months before he was arrested in the bathroom. So he was way ahead of the curve. How did you know that Larry Craig was gay? How did you um, know? I'm a reporter, and just like any other story that I go out and seek uh, for my website, I do research, I meet with sources, I talk to individuals, I look at evidence, um, I hear corroborating stories from people across the country, and then I report on them. Those are still allegations at best, though. I mean, he's, he has, uh, look, and many of the people in the film, too, have denied being gay. So do you worry about them coming back and trying to sue you for I do not. outing them? Why not? I you do don't. not. What, well, what protects you, then? The, the <laughs> best defense for a lawsuit like that, of course, is the truth. So that's not a worry at all. Okay. I have a 100% record, and, mm -hmm. you know, any journalistic outfit, I guess, is set up to mm -hmm. potentially be in that position. I have to be triple, 100, 250 percent sure, and that's what helps me maintain my 100 percent record to date over five years. Some people feel, too, that, you know, in trying to out, um, I mean, mainly Republicans who you think are closeted um, in terms of their voting record, is a way of bullying people into voting a certain way. I mean, there may be um, some closeted gay members um, in, in Washington that just may think, okay, this is my personal life. But then for, for the country, this is what I think is yeah. best. How do you then, how do you, do, do you see it as bullying at all? I mean, in some ways, are we then to ask our legislators and our judges to then only legislate, vote, and judge based on their personal emotions and beliefs and actions? No, I, I don't think it's bullying at all. It's reporting. Now, the important thing here is if, if a politician is out, and he's voting anti-gay, then the entire public knows. They know what's going on. But if he's closeted, they don't know. And that's the importance of reporting. That's what good reporters do on any issue. But so basically, though, because I'm not a big fan of outing people, I, I don't think it's right. I don't think anybody has the right to make that decision for you. But that, that's how I feel. But let me ask you. So if you have somebody who is voting their conscience, conscience mm -hmm. maybe they're not out have do we have have you taken time to sit down and say to people why did you vote this way or why are you doing this or is it because mm -hmm. I think sometimes people vote their religion as we were saying mm -hmm. earlier they have different convictions and I, I wouldn't want people to think they're just voting to be boneheads <laughs> you know what I mean well, yeah. we all would want that. what, what you, yeah. that's a good question well, uh, first of all, no politician mm -hmm. gets to decide what story is written about them. No. And when we talk about religion, for mm -hmm. example, every congressional website in the country lists the religion of Congress members. So people, mm -hmm. ha when they're, they're uh, shared that, but they're being out when it affects their yeah. votes. And I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I'm actually anti-outing too, Damn. Whoopi. Yeah. I'm pro-exposing hypocrisy. So okay. when people live their private lives, mm -hmm. anybody in the country. But the problem is. So if Larry Craig had voted for gay rights, for gay marriage, you would have left him alone. I could care less. Is that why so I many say. liberal okay. then senators, people in, in Washington are left alone and not outed? You'll let them if remain in the closet you if you think they to, are? You'll leave them alone? Well, let me answer Elizabeth's question yeah. because it's a very okay. important uh, question. And I know Kirby in the film is very careful. It's, it's mm -hmm. not a conservative, it's not a liberal, it's not a Democrat or right. Republican and issue. Hypocrisy and on both sides. Hi so hypocrisy is hypocrisy. And I just think that people have to be honest. No law, the basis of this country is that the people who make the laws have to live under them. Well, 
Just like uh, Whoopi says, she she didn't agree with uh, outing people. Sometimes it's a it's a very <clears throat> private struggle. Um, mm -hmm. But they, we have a clip of you with a reporter. It got a little bit heated on this. Can we see it? Whoopi's good. You're hurting people. Well, wait, then, you're saying, to do with then you're saying being gay is wrong. Let me ask no, you a I'm question. No, I'm not. I'm so, I, let I, me ask I, you a question. Absolutely not. And, that's, and let me ask you and, this and example. I take that back, because I do sure. not mean that. Well, when you point that, a finger a at somebody. But, I'm about ready to do but, a lot more than point my okay. finger at you. What is, but, would that be? Uh, I, you know, I'd take you outside and give you a punch across the face, because wow. that's not what I well, said, and that's not what I mean. Wow. Maybe, maybe he meant he was going to ask you out. What yeah. was that about? <laughs> but I mean, you could, you know, by, by outing somebody who it, it could be a personal struggle for them. Anything you could possibly be wrecking somebody's life. How do you defend that? Well, I defend it as in, for example, in the case of Larry Craig, mm -hmm. he voted consistently to discharge lesbian and gay members from the military. So if he can do that as a veteran of the military, mm -hmm. that's not living under the that's laws true. that you want to legislate, and that's called tyranny. I but mean, also, we're the people who set the rules yeah. don't have to follow them. And that's just unacceptable. And, and what the film does is it shows the difference. It shows the exact cases of how are people being hypocrites. But, but, the, but I'm curious, because the gays in the military with someone who's not in the military, we live under the, that kind of tyranny all the time. People are making laws and sending people who, who you know, are kids they're sending that and they ne the adults never have to go but we're talking now if you are say gay against gay marriage and you vote your heart and say no I don't believe this is right is this someone who you would expose if they said they did not believe in gay marriage if, they if, were they're, gay? if they're being honest about who they are mm -hmm. and explaining what informs their vote to the American people mm -hmm. then I have no problem so with their activity. So if gay. you say I'm against gay marriage and they're cruising the bars with guys mm -hmm. then you have to call them on it. Yeah. I think that's that's what this I do go does. back to the point that in some way it is a form of bullying people to try to have them match their personal lives with what they think is best for the country and I think that's going down a dangerous path we would have a very different legal system if that were the case across the board. But, but you'll have a, you'll be in you'll they're be in work us. for a long time because there's a lot of hypocrisy Check everywhere. Out the film. Outrage is in select theaters now and we come back a woman who says oral sex is the new goodnight kiss for teenage girls. Oh, you don't yeah. want to miss it. <laughs>